Welcome back to N Squared, where we've been working on some fantastic new technology that I'd love to show you today. As many of you know, tabletop computing is starting to become more and more prevalent, and with devices like the Samsung SUR40, we're starting to see digital tables appearing in workspaces and in meeting room spaces. Uh, the technology I'd like to show you today is called N Squared Presenter. An N Squared Presenter enables you to collaborate work together as a group around the table on content to put together presentations, create annotations and have richer conversations around images, PowerPoint documents, Word documents, spreadsheets, movies. So let me show you right now on the table. Here we have N Squared Presenter running and you can see I have a bar here that's called my presentation bar. Let's create a new presentation. Just hit sessions and you can see here I have this new interface for creating a new presentation and I can name the presentation. We're going to call our presentation final. So it's the final presentation. We'll add final. Uh, and I can add a month to that as well. So we can add multiple words. So final for February. We'll add that. And you see the name has changed here. So we have our presentation name. So here in this file ring, I'm going to go into my local C drive. And I'm going to go to the images folder. And here in the images folder, I'm going to pick out some images that I want to add to the presentation. Let's just take a few of these images out and add them to the presentation. So just drag them in to the presentation. Now at the same time, as I said, this is multi-user. So maybe someone else is looking at documents. So let's have a look at our documents folder. And we have a Word document here. Or maybe uh, a PowerPoint that we want to add to the presentation as well. So we can pull these documents, office documents, out and add those to the presentation. You'll notice these presentation bar. I can actually drag it and dock it to my side of the table so that it clears more space on the screen. So let's take the second page out of that Word document and drag it into the presentation. And then let's take the second and third slide out of the PowerPoint and add those to our presentation as well. And then we can, at that point, get rid of and close these documents if we wanted to as well. I can also add movies. And we know movies are an important part of uh, a presentation. So let's go and have a look for our movies folder. And there's our movies folder. And let's add, take a couple of movies out and add those to the presentation. We'll add that one at the front of the presentation and we'll add this one to the end of the presentation. So now we've built a nice timeline for our presentation. You will notice that I have here in this bar screens. It says presenter screens and I have a big screen. So if I just dock that on the side, I can take one of these images or one of these documents. So let's take this PowerPoint slide that we added and I can drag that and add it to the big screen. And you can see straight away there it pops up on the big screen. I can annotate it directly on the table and it will annotate in real time on the big screen. Pretty cool tech, huh? So we've now got the ability to build a presentation, annotate the presentation and present it out to a screen. Now we know not everyone runs the same technology and this screen is connected to a Windows machine. But over here we have a Mac and I'm going to run Presenter the presenter screen server on a Mac. And here we've got a screen and that screen has appeared here directly as another screen that's available for us to present to. So I could grab that Word document for example and I can take that Word document, I can add it to that Mac screen and I can start annotating it. Now there's something else that happens in meeting room spaces and that's people bring their own personal devices. And one of those personal devices may be a tablet. Here I have a Windows 7 tablet. This is a tablet kiosk tablet running Windows 7 Touch and it supports pen as well. And I can load Presenter onto this. Now the Presenter interface that we have running is almost identical to the Presenter interface we have running on the table. This enables me to dock these bars again. Now I may have a local file. I may have a file, maybe a spreadsheet that I want to add to this conversation. So let's find a spreadsheet that I want to add. Here's a documents folder. Add my sales spreadsheet. That is an important conversation piece. And at the same time, I may want to join this session. So if I go to sessions now, I can see the surface is available as a session to join. So I can join that session. 
And what you'll see happening is the presentation in the presentation bar is synchronized with the presentation that's happening down here. So it's the same timeline and it's synchronized out. I can take out that spreadsheet and I can add that spreadsheet to my presentation. And you'll notice as I add it to the presentation, it appears here as an item available within the timeline. So everyone sitting around the table can now drag out that spreadsheet that's been shared from a personal device onto the table and have a conversation around it. And that conversation may involve annotating some of the content and that conversation may involve taking some of that content and pushing it out to a projected screen. So here again I'm going to present that spreadsheet that originally came from this device from the table, we annotated it and we've projected it out onto the big screen. Pretty fantastic technology bring together all of the devices that we have in our space. This technology is going to be available in March uh, and it's available for order now from our website. Um, now there is one more thing I'd like to show you. With tablet PCs there's one device that's become very popular and that's the iPad. And so from my iPad I can load the iPad version of Presenter and you'll see it's almost the same interface again. It's more iPad-esque, more Apple-esque, but I can go and join the session that we have on the table. I can connect to that session, and when I connect to that session, it'll bring down and connect all of the content that I have here in this timeline will be connected out and synchronized with the timeline that I have here on my iPad. Now also on the iPad I may have collected other content, so I've got a few photos on my iPad that I've collected that I want to add to this presentation. So let's go and have a look for those photos. Here we go. And these are photos of, from a school where some children are using some of our educational Surface applications. And you can see they're pretty busy working hard at the table. And uh, I can grab one of these and I can of course present it out to the big screen. So now I've presented out one of those images to the big screen. I can, using the iPad directly, interact with that image and annotate it directly here on the big screen. I can also share that content by dragging it and dropping it onto the surface screen. So if I now drag that onto the surface screen, here's that same image now available on the surface screen. So same interface that I used for sharing content with a big screen is available to share with interactive screens and I can add that image to the presentation timeline. Now one more thing I want to show you that I think is very cool is the fact we added movies to this timeline means that we can play movies on these screens as well. So let me grab one of those movies which is our closing movie, add it to the big screen and you can see how quickly it's sending that movie across and presenting it across onto the big screen. So this is a fantastic new technology, N Squared Presenter, available for purchase now and shipping in March. We really look forward to hearing your feedback and we really hope you enjoy using it. Thank you very much.